Today I'm going to show you how to create um, different or have a look at different types of tools. So all we need to do is go to new and we need to create a new document, make sure it's blank. Then we're going to go to the internet and we're just going to find a brand new image here. So all I'm going to find here is my strawberry. When we go to the internet, you need to make sure that you are selecting a large image so it's a good quality image if you've not got your own. So go to tools, size and large and you would select your um, picture that's right for you. And all you're going to do is copy and paste that picture into your um, Photoshop. Okay, so you right click copy and then you go to uh, Photoshop and then you go either command V or control V or right click or insert and paste okay now you've got that you can move that around all I'm going to do here is I'm going to go to edit and transform and I'm going to go to scale or you can go command or shift T and make sure you hold down the shift key to make sure you move it so it doesn't stretch so it stays on the same proportions and when you're ready and you've enlarged it to whatever you, size you need, you can click enter. I'm going to change the background. So I've gone to my layer zero there and I'm going to go to my paint, uh, paint bucket. I've already got a color that I like there from those little squares. And I've just clicked on the background and that's changed it. I'm going to go back to my layer one here and I'm going to get rid of my background. Now you can do this using either your magic wand or your quick selection. I'll just show you very quickly what the quick selection does. You can literally just click or you can drag and um, hold down that button and drag it like I'm doing there or and that will select it or deselect or quick way to do it and sometimes a little bit more accurate, less time consuming is to go to select at the top and go on subject so i've just deselected i'll go to select and go to subject and then it will go to it will select all of that strawberry and i'll go to select again and invert or inverse and then i'll backspace to delete the background and that will be left and then just select deselect so then you're left with your strawberry there. Make sure you go back to your move tool so you can move your strawberry or your object around. So I'm just going to show you a few things today. Um, the first one I'm going to show you here, just alter the size of that. So the first one I'm going to show you is the different adjustments. So you go to image adjustments and there's all sorts of things here. So here we've got black and white. You can change the black and white, change different colors. That, um, so it can go to like more of the reds or dark reds or if you want a certain thing to stand out. Uh, you could go image adjustments. And we'll have a look at photo filter. So you can change the actual colors. So I'll do things more extreme just to show you the effects that it has in it. You can change the density there. So this one's gone really, really green there. So you can have a play around with those. If we go to image, adjustments, and then we'll go to invert, okay? If you want to get rid of that, either control Z or edit, undo. Image, adjustments, we've got posterize. And you can change the levels of your posterize as well there. How much you want it to be posterized. When you're happy with that, you could either click OK. Make sure it's always on preview so you can always see it. You can select different sections that you want to posterize and play around with that one as well. Image adjustments, selective color gradient maps. There's all sorts of things that you can have a, a go at. So changing all sorts of colors there can change it to yellows so it will only fixate on the yellows you can see how that top section of the of the strawberry is moving because it's picked up on all those yellows rather than anything else so that section there and you can mess around with all sorts of colors so you can change just a section of it without having to select it like individually 
have a look at all the different buttons play around remember you don't have to commit to anything i'm not committed to anything yet you can always do edit and undo so have a look at all of these different types of things that are on there you can also go to different things like uh, filters so we can have a look at distortion or noise pixelate there's all sorts of different things so i'll just show you one here so this one's a ripple so it's going to give you a preview of what the ripple will look like and you can see there i can move it the amount and you can see what effect that has on it in that square so you just change that adjustment there to whatever it suits And then when you're happy, you can click OK. You can see the adjustment there. If you're not happy with anything, edit and undo will always fix. This almost looks furry or fuzzy. So I'm just going to show you a couple more. So have a play around with your image and your adjustments and your photo filters as well.